What's up, big world, small world? Yo, check this out. You in a new relationship? New friendship? Somebody you just met? Take your time. <laughs> you ain't got to rush into nothing. If they want to rush into a relationship, you tell them, hold on, wait a minute. I don't know you. You got to get to know the person before you even jump into a relationship with somebody. Get to know that person. I mean, really, really get to know that person. You got to get to know them winter, spring, summer, and fall. Not the seasons, goofy, sad, happy, mad, angry. You feel what I'm saying? All that. How they act in front of people. How they act when hard times come, too. How they treat a waiter or waitress. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that reflects, too. How they treat their parents. You feel what I'm saying? If they don't deal with their parents, they don't cuss them out and, you know, make crazy gestures about them. And for those single dads and moms, how they treat their children, too. You know what I'm talking about. You done met Leroy or Nancy, and you like, they got, got, got kids, and y'all been in the date for like four, five months, and you ain't met their child yet? What? Now, I feel a lot of people are overprotective of their family, but damn. No FaceTime, no nothing, no meet, nobody. What? I mean, they don't give a fuck for real, for real. They just trying to get in your pants and impregnate your ass, just like they did baby mama or baby, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just being real with you people. Y'all better start paying attention to them people. Cause some people just like to hit it and quit it. You feel me? You're going to be with me. You're going to be in me for the long run. I don't even play them games. You feel what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you not want to be with somebody for the long run? That mean <laughs> your intentions and their intentions were not the same. You might be thinking long run, but they thinking short term. You feel me? You'll go the whole 400 mile relay and they just want to do a full by 100. Straight shot and shit. You're worth better than that. Don't let nobody creep up in your pants, neither. Guys, too. You get used to. Some guys don't even mind. Like, yeah, take that thing. But don't you know, every woman that you sleep with or every man you sleep with, guess what you're carrying? Baggage. Yeah, their baggage. That toxicity from this person and that person and that person and that person. Didn't they teach you in school that if you sleep with somebody, they don't slept with three people already? And those three people don't slept with three people? That's a lot of goddamn spirits, ain't it? I'm just saying. Take your time, babe. Take your time. If that person can't accept the response you give them by taking the time and get to know each other out and everything like that, you don't need to be around that person. And don't give it to them because you feel vulnerable or comfortable with them. Use your intuition and discernment. Everybody ain't good for you, baby. But <laughs> for the people that has found that one, I mean, that person that really takes that time and actually get to know that person and appreciates that person and they go through the ups and downs but not ups and downs for real they're actually ups and ups because they feed each other they apologize to each other and don't make the same mistakes over and over again because they're learning from each other that's a great relationship and you're feeding into each other you're lifting each other up when the world brings you down you lift each other up you come home and just to a happy home no matter what you did at your job or what somebody did to you you know you can come home to your boo your baby give you that comfort unconditional love